The coming war with Iran will be the second biblical event of our time. It will be known as the second seal prophecy of Revelation chapter 6. Our time is the time of the end. And the first biblical event of our time was in 2001 when the first seal was opened and the U.S. declared war on terror. The coming war with Iran is the second biblical event of our time, the second seal of Revelation. On July 7th, just before Friday prayers, Iran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei summoned top Iranian military chiefs for what he called their last war council. The Kafal's exclusive sources disclosed that he told the gathering, we will be at war within weeks. Each of the participants was tapped to report on the readiness of his branch or sector for shouldering its contingency missions. Retaliation was high on the agenda, but defense was higher, starting with the biggest fortification project in Iran's history for the protection of its nuclear program. Rocks are being gathered from afar, piled on nuclear installations covered with many tons of poured concrete, and finally plated with steel. The strength and thickness of this armor plating are designed to hold up against U.S. and Israeli aerial and missile bombardment. That same Friday, the U.S. Air Force unveiled its new massive ordnance penetrators. Each bunker buster weighs 30,000 pounds and can penetrate 60 feet of reinforced concrete. In wing retaliation, the War Council endorsed a battery of paybacks for potential U.S. and or Israeli preemptive strikes against its nuclear program. They would start by announcing enhanced uranium enrichment up to 60%, and that is close to weapons grade. Ballistic missiles would be loosed against Israel, Saudi Arabia, and American Middle East and Gulf military installations. Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas and Jihad Islami in Gaza are to pitch in against Israel. Saudi oil export terminals would be blown up in mines sown in the Strait of Hormuz to impede the export of one-fifth of the world's oil. Khamenei put before his war council a timeline of weeks for the coming conflict, September or October. This has been an exclusive Debka file presentation. When this war starts and the second seal of Revelation is opened, Iran will declare war on the West. This second seal prophecy identifies Iran as the red horse of Revelation and the rider on the red horse is the supreme leader of Iran Khomeini. Also, when the second seal of Revelation opens, other events will quickly take place. The creditors of the United States will suddenly wake up and make the U.S. tremble. Also, when the second seal opens and the U.S. economy collapses, all the churches that use the Bible will suddenly wake up and start to realize that the time of the end has come which is appropriate because the people of the churches not, must know that the third seal is coming soon and Russia will declare war on the United States. This, again, the second seal of Revelation is the war with Iran, followed by the next event of biblical prophecy, which will be the war with Russia. However, the Bible tells Yahweh's people everything they need to know about what will happen before the third seal is opened so that they can be prepared. But war with Iran is next. And the people of Yahweh must be prepared. However, God plans to wake up all his people following that. For people interested in information about the time of the end, I've written several books. One in 2003 called Of the Last Days, which is all about the Second Coming. One in 2006, which is the Complete Idiot's Guide to the Last Days, which is all about God's plan, for his seven-day plan for the world. And then finally, the most comprehensive book, The Time Has Come, Our Journey Begins, which is everything God's people need to know once the second seal of Revelation is opened. This year, I released a series of books called The Watchman's Guide Series. It includes a comprehensive analysis of the time of the end, a detailed look at the rapture and the second coming of Christ, the complete prophecies of Revelation and the prophecies of Daniel, and probably the most important book is The Watchman's Guide to End Time Repentance, what, people, what God's people need to do as they see that the time of the end is approaching. Once again, this is Richard Perry 
with a warning for Yahweh's people to get prepared to repent. And remember, Christ warned us, saying, Be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. 